Hi there, welcome back to the beginner's guide. If you're watching this video and you're new to fiddle, I hope that you've checked out the complete beginner's guide, which is the three lessons that come before this. That'll get you set up to hold the bow, hold the violin, and to play our very first tune. This is no longer called the complete beginner's guide because you're no longer a complete beginner. So this is the beginner's guide. This lesson takes off from there and we're gonna be working on a new skill today, which is changing where we put our second finger. And we're gonna be exploring that by learning a melody called Old Joe Clark. It's a very famous and popular old time fiddle tune. Um, it's played a lot in bluegrass and old time circles and uh, we're going to be sort of adding on to this tune um, as the lessons progress. We're going to be adding some bowing to it and uh, maybe some more difficult versions of the melody. But what we're going to do today is just learn the really basic bare bones melody and get used to changing where we put our second finger on our, the neck of a violin. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start by just revising our A major scale. And from there, we're gonna learn about the finger that we're gonna change. So our A major scale, remember we have a little gap, then our first finger, a little gap, then our second finger. Our third finger goes down nice and close to our second finger. And that's the same pattern across two strings, A and E. So play it, to, play it with me. Okay, so we're going to change one note now, and that note is going to be the, our second finger on the E string. Now when we get up to the E string, we put our first finger where we normally put it, then we're going to put our second finger down right in close next to our first finger, and our third finger is going to go where it normally does, but now that means that there's a gap between our second finger and our third finger. So wherever there's a little gap, there's also a note. Obviously the violin doesn't have any frets or anything, so um, <laughs> wherever you put your finger is gonna be a note. But um, when we're doing scales, uh, there's 12 notes in total, and there's a little note in between every one that we've um, been working on so far, except for, the, except for the times when our fingers are close. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to play this new scale here. This scale is sometimes called Mixolydian scale. Um, basically, we're just altering one note from the major scale, and that's going to be the seventh note of the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of our G sharp note, we're gonna have a G natural. So the note where our second finger is close to our first is called G, and when we push it up towards our third finger, where it normally is, that's called G sharp. Okay. Okay, so have a little practice of that. Um, obviously, wherever, whatever string we're playing on, we can put our finger in that backwards position. So why don't you try doing that on both strings now, just for fun. This is a different kind of scale, it's a little bit more minor. And then change and put the second fingers both in the up position.
Okay, so have a little experiment with that. For the tune Old Joe Clark that we're going to be learning today, we just have our second finger back on the E string, and on the A string, it's in the normal position that we are used to, our major scale position. Um, all right, I'm going to play you each little phrase now, and I want you to play it back to me in your own time. And we'll go phrase for phrase. Okay, here's the first phrase. We're going to start on open E. Okay, so we're starting on open E. We're putting our first finger down, second finger down, walking then back, first finger open. Then we put three fingers down on the A and then reveal the second finger up, up under that, which is in our up position. So we're using both positions for our second fingers. We've got the back on the E string and forward on the A string. Let's hear that again. Okay, that's our first phrase. Let's play our second phrase now. Our second phrase goes like this. Okay, starts out exactly the same, but just finishes on open E this time. Let's do that again. Okay, our third phrase. Now, a little hint, often in fiddle music, the third phrase is the same as the first phrase. Um, that happens, that's a formula that happens a lot in fiddle music particularly. So, and that's definitely the case in this tune. So our third phrase is the same as the first. So we already know it, here it is. Okay. Now for our ending phrase, our fourth phrase, it's going to start on open A this time. So we have open A, second finger down in the up position or the forward position, and then first finger twice, then open A twice. Those open A's are longer notes, so one and two and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's our whole A part of the tune, the first part of the tune. There's two parts in this tune. We have an A part and a B part. The A part, we've just learnt it. It's those four phrases, and we're going to repeat them. So. Oftentimes what happens in fiddle music is we have an A part and then it's repeated over again because otherwise it'd be a little bit too short. These are dance tunes so you need to sort of extend the content as, uh, for as long as you can um, while still trying to make it interesting. So often the form is A-A-B-B. So we have our A part, then we repeat the A part again. We have a B part and then we repeat the B part again. Okay, let's move on to the B part. Here's how the B part goes. First phrase. Okay, starting on open A. And we're going over to the E string. Third finger, second finger on the A. Three, four. Okay, second phrase. That one's easy, we just have two open A strings, one and two and, and then exactly the same length of note with our third finger down on the D string. Third phrase, you guessed it, is the same as the first phrase in our B part, so. And our ending phrase, which also we get this one for free. This is the same ending as the A part. It goes like this. Okay, 
Okay, that's our B part. The only new part that we really needed was the two phrases. Our first phrase. And then our second phrase. We have our third finger on the D string there. Then we repeat our first phrase, of course. And our ending from the A part. Okay. Yeah, this is a really catchy melody. Um, there's tons of different versions, so go look up some versions. It's called Old Joe Clark, as I said. And uh, also, as I said, you know, we're going to be getting a little more complex with it um, as these lessons progress. This is just the really bare bones of the melody. But it's still a really catchy melody. So let's play it together. And uh, we've learned a new skill, which is second finger in the back position and moving it from back to forward across strings. We've also learned a new tune. Okay. One, two, here we go. Take it a little faster. Hey, nice work. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course check out my Patreon page if you're interested in supporting these lessons or checking out the tons more lessons that are available up there. That's at patreon.com forward slash George Jackson. Thanks for being with me and we'll see you for the next lesson where we'll learn about our fourth finger. Okay, see you then. Thank you.